I've been in real estate for three and a half years now. Started in mid 2020 and now it's 2024. A year ago, I made a video that I'll put right here. Check it out if you haven't, don't check it out, whatever. But it was my honest review of wholesaling two years in. And I was looking at my old videos and I recently rewatched that video. And it's crazy seeing that because so many things have changed, so many things have gotten better. And I'm just in a way different position than I was in when I recorded that video. One question I get asked all the time on that video, because that video is like 600 comments, which is crazy. And just in general, is like, Alec, are you still wholesaling? And if you watch my other videos, you kind of know the answer to this. But the answer is yes, but differently. And the answer is I am doing other businesses as well. So the goal of this video is to go over my honest review of wholesaling in three years, if I recommend it, if I don't, what's changed and what you should know if you're getting started in 2024 or you're starting to get the ball rolling in 2024. And one thing that I mentioned in the last video was I commented about people on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube. I saw the dude flexing a $200,000 check saying that he closed a deal and got that money. And if you look at the check, you could tell it's a loan to buy a house, which you I mean, obviously he's doing deals because he has the loan, but it's not net. He's not net making that 200,000. But if you don't know real estate and you don't know what you're looking at, you'll see that and be like, oh wow, like, you know, you'll compare yourself to that. Or you'll be like, what the heck? Like, why am I not doing that? And like, I just thought that was funny. And a lot of people like that. So to start this video, I have a check here which you're not gonna be able to see until I get closer. I have a check here for $490,000 and it's dated 129, 2024. That's literally, you know, last month or two months ago. So 493K dated two months ago and I could show this check and flex. Oh, yo, I just closed this 490K deal. And this is double than what that guy was flexing. But what I'm not telling you about this is this is profits from a flip that check out the video. I posted two videos, three videos ago, profits from that flip that is gross. So gross means like the total you received net is how much you actually put in your pocket at the end of the day. So last year what I was doing when I recorded that video is I was doing a lot of cold calling and texting and driving for dollars and a lot of active marketing and doing that it was one expensive and I was tired. It was every month. I had seven employees at that time and I was paying payroll every single month, every single week, every single day. I was paying payroll. I was tired of working 24 seven. Deals were falling apart. Deals weren't working. I closed a lot of deals last year. I actually closed my biggest wholesale deal last year, but I also lost money on four deals last year. Lost deals to other buyers and other wholesalers and you know, was in like a weird transition spot. I was also comparing my a lot where like I was going on social media and see the dude with the $200,000 check and be like bro like that dude's killing it like why am I not killing it but uh, yeah I mean it was just it was a weird transition period I'm still like in that transition period where like now I'm transitioning differently from like wholesaling to other businesses and you know on market and creative and stuff which i'll get into but at that time i really saw no end in sight i thought that's just where i was gonna get stuck and i mentioned it in that video is that it's just another rat race like wholesaling back then was just a different style of a rat race where it was like i have no deals get deals sell my deals i have no deals get deals sell my deals i have no deals get deals sell my deals it was like i'm just running like a marathon over and over and over i was like bro man, I don't know what to do. And that was like where I was when I was recording that. And one other thing, just to mention that, and then I'll get into like my review of three years in, that was still in calling and texting was like working per se, because it just kept going worse and worse and worse and worse. Like texting, like quarter four of 2023, it got bad. It got bad and same with calling and that's why I posted a video uh, two videos ago or one video ago I don't know what the order is but I talked about what my favorite strategies are in 2024 and one of them that I mentioned was switching from outbound marketing to inbound marketing because when I was doing deals last year like man I had no leads like I was getting at 1.7 leads a week sometimes three leads a week and it was like bro I'm still spending 8k a week i'm still spending that money regardless if i'm getting deals or not and i dealt with so much deal drama i mentioned the four deals i dealt with a lot of deal drama um i want to make a video talking about all the deals i lost money on i think i made one video so check out that video it's kind of long if you don't check it out i don't blame you i talked about one deal i lost money on i lost money on three more i was in two lawsuits last year 
um, which if you are wholesaling, you probably won't get into a lawsuit, but if you do enough business, you will. One of them, I sued somebody and the other one, I got sued by somebody who was a seller. Um, long story short, what happened was I thought me and the seller were cool. I was actually going to buy the house. This was last year in like August, September. It was a duplex. I was super excited. I was actually going to live in one of the units and I thought it was cool with the seller. I mentioned to the seller a couple times, say, hey, you know, I think I might have to go over the closing period, you know, whatever. And, you know, in person, he was cool. He offered me drinks, like he was always cool. He's like, yeah, no problem. Like as long as you close. And then once we got like a day before the closing date, I sent him an extension to like extend the closing date, six days. I just needed six days and he refused to sign it day of closing he says if you don't sign it you're defaulting on your deposit which was ten thousand dollars and now since then you know he he's refused to sell the house um he hates me i don't know what happened it's like super weird and then now we're going to like mediation over this deal because i just needed six more days to close and they just don't want to sell the house anymore and I don't know what they're doing. So there's more to it. That's like a summarized version. My argument in that deal is he told me verbally in person, you know, you're okay to do it. Um, he also told me over text that we're okay to extend it. So he gave me some hints at, you know, us being okay. But yeah, we're not, this, that's not what this video is about. So I don't want to get too much into it, but that was one drama that happened, a couple other ones. And that just like weighed on me, man. That was, that was heavy back then. And it was tough. I actually stopped posting content for two months because all the drama that I was dealing with back then. I just watched a video a couple days ago about this other wholesaler that I know that stopped and he's doing flipping now because he got tired of wholesaling. He felt that it wasn't ethical, which I think is a common thing with like wholesaling is because like, it's a weird because wholesaling is ethical, but there's a part of it that's not ethical where you're, you know, you're lying to the seller. You're saying, hey, I'll buy your house. I'm a cash buyer, but you know, you're not, you know, if you're younger, like when I was 24 and I got started, bro, I don't have money. I had 5k in my bank account. Like I'm not buying these houses, but inherently, you know, you want to do good for the seller. Like you're doing them a service. You're helping them find a buyer, you're helping them sell their house. But it's like, you're not giving them the most that they could get. You're not doing the most black and white business. You're doing great business where you're flipping the contract and not telling them. And then there's drama that happens where the buyer talks to the seller or the seller finds out that you're wholesaling it and gets upset or buyers knock on the seller's door and tell them that you're wholesaling it. There's like a lot of drama that happens with that. And it happens because expectations weren't set with the seller and because you know, if you're doing business like 99% of wholesalers that aren't telling the sellers that they're wholesaling, there is distrust and there is unethical behaviors that happen. So a lot of people got burnt out from that and that was what one of my friends was experiencing. But it's super interesting seeing how many new wholesalers are still entering the market and still doing the business. When I got started 2021, everybody was starting and now it's like 2024, everybody's starting. It's like, man, people are still super interested in this industry. And then the next part I wanna get into is, do I recommend wholesaling? And the answer is, Yes, in the last video, I also said yes. And I say yes again, because it's way better than anything that you can do otherwise, especially if you don't have skills. Because what wholesaling does is, even though it's a rat race and even though it's stressful and has down points, it gives you freedom. Freedom is what real like wealth and financial freedom is, is it's freedom of time. I can go get lunch with my grandma. I can go hang out with my family. I can get dinner with my sisters. I can go out with my friends. I can take the day off and go to the beach. And I don't have a boss to, you know, yell at me. I don't have a boss to like be on top of me. Like, hey, you can't do that. I need you in the office. You know, I can do it however I want. And another cool thing about wholesaling is you can't work wherever. Me, I have a laptop. I just suck at working on my laptop. And it's funny because a year ago, I also sucked at working on my laptop. I just like working on my desktop. Like I have two monitors, one monitor has YouTube on, listening to like good videos, music, other monitor I'm working. It's just like my battle station. But you know, if you can work on your laptop, which I can, I mean, I'm not saying like I'm incapable, but if you can work on your laptop, you can go anywhere. You can travel, you can work, you can go to Columbia and work, you can go to New York City, you can go to Colorado, LA, Miami, just work on your laptop and just travel around 
I think that sounds really cool because you can do this business virtually. And I do deals locally in Miami, but like I never see the houses. Like I just, I don't want to. Like why would I go see the houses? So you can do deals anywhere, virtually, locally. And that's a really cool aspect of it is it gives you time freedom. It's not passive income time freedom where you're getting a paycheck every month because you have to work for it. But it gives you time freedom where you can choose where you work and when you work. You can work at night, you can work during the day. And it's super interesting because I feel like back then I was in a different position because now I have I have a marketing agency, a content agency. So one, if you're looking for content done, short form, long form, hit me up, <laughs> like I'm doing that. And then two is I have a community. If you're looking to join a community of like-minded real estate people, I would love to have you join my community. That's a free community too. And like, I'm super active in it. So I'll answer all your questions and there's a lot of people in it. We have over 300 people so far, so it's really cool. But I mean, it's like same position where it's like, man, like I have properties, like I've done deals, but I don't have a million dollars in the bank yet. <laughs> like I'm not living in a penthouse in downtown Miami with like no worries or able to order food every Every single night and not have to worry you know like there's still like some things i have to like mm, i have to budget a little bit you know i have to like kind of track my expenses a little bit and i'm trying to figure out where i want to go you know right now i have the content agency i have the community i have my real estate business which um, i guess i should mention is now i don't have any employees in my real estate business it's just me and my partner doing on-market deals creative finance and we're gonna start doing inbound marketing, but I don't have any employees in my business now. I let everybody go. I sold some of my business, which is gonna be a future video teaser, but I don't have any employees and it's just like a lot less stress, a lot less overhead, a lot more freedom. But with that is I'm not making as much money right now than I was when I was wholesaling just because I don't have this business running. Like I'm not spending 15K a month to run a business anymore. So right now I'm making less money but I'm saving more money. So it kind of like balances out, but like not really. And I'm trying to figure out where I want to go. Like I want to really build out my YouTube almost at 10K subscribers. By the time I post this, maybe I will have 10K subscribers, which would be awesome. Thank you for everybody that subscribed. Subscribe if you haven't yet, really appreciate it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I think it's a great business. If you want me to talk more about this, I am always love talking about like, you know, my mindset going into this because it's something that I'm kind of passionate about and I'm, you know, really cool opening up. Like I don't mind at all. So I hope this made sense. Um, wholesaling is a great business, recommend it. It's changed, recommend it, <laughs> real estate's great. And if you have deals in Florida, send them to me. I am looking for deals in Florida. If you want to join a real estate community, join my community. I'll put a link right here. Join my community, would love to see you on there. My memory chip has four minutes left. So I'm gonna end this video now. Thanks for watching. Watch this video, whatever YouTube recommends.